I'm live. My name is Miss Jill, and I'm here to teach you some English, okay? E, oh, you're already here. Meu Deus. There's 13 people here. Oh, that's so cool. How's the audio? Is the audio tá bom demais? Hey, okay, let me say hi to some of you guys. Let me see, let me mute this. Hey, Miss, oh, Lucas. Hey, Miss Jill, Lucas is back again. You're the best teacher professor ever. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you, Lucas. It's good to see you again. Sorry, Edison. Tenho quatro filhos. Espera um pouquinho, tá? Mas oi, tudo bem? Tudo jóia? Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was I two minutes late? Two minutes late. Gente, sorry. Okay, so tonight's lesson is going to be all about daily routine. Daily routine. And we're going to focus on adverbs of frequency, okay? So I want you to tell me in the comments, okay? Oh, hi guys, hi Mateus. Hi Patricia, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you guys. All right. So in the comments, can who can translate? What is daily routine? Daily routine. Who can translate that for me? Boa noite. Let's learn. Isso. <laughs> Hello, Danielson. Hello, Marcos. Hi, Fabio. <laughs> Good, Antonio, you're correct, all right? How do you say this in Portuguese? Rotina diária. I think so. All right. So we're going to talk about the daily routine. And what is this right here? Adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency. In Portuguese, é palavras tipo sempre, nunca, às vezes, assim. Oh, Diego. Thank you. <laughs> the book is on the table. The book is on the table. The book is on... I like that song. Is that all you know in English? You can learn a couple more phrases tonight, I promise, okay? <laughs> Yay! Cleverton. Cleverton. Seu nome é muito interessante. Sabe por quê? Porque a palavra clever significa inteligente. Então, seu nome é inteligente. My name does not mean clever, does not mean smart. Very good. Okay, so Michelle follow. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Adverbios de frequência. Okay, so does anyone know any examples of adverbs of frequency? In English, in English, okay. So what are some adverbs of frequency in English? <laughs> Hi guys, I usually study English in the morning at home. That's, this is a great, perfect example sentence. I usually study English in the morning at home while I'm in quarantine. Fabio, meu Deus do céu. That's very good, okay. Wesley, minus 10 points, you're late. That's okay, I was two minutes late. All right, Leandro says, always. Very good. Uh, let's see. Usually, very good. Rarely. Hey, Adriano. Hey, Adriano, you were in my, my, um, my, what do you call it? Insta. I did a picture of you. I said, game my school. <laughs> game my <mais> legal. <laughs> All right. Often, very good, Mateus. Frequently, very good. Ever, never. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay, so let me show you. Some very common ones, all right? So we're going to start with, oh, look at that. Always, always é, sempre, né? Usually, which is the same in Portuguese. Sometimes, às vezes, rarely. How do you say this word in Portuguese? E eu sei que um, this word is um pouco difícil para falar. Uh, some people, my Brazilian friends tell me. So, presta atenção aqui, ó. Rarely. Rarely. 
rarely, ok? You have to use your teeth. Tem que usar seus dentes, gente. Dentes, gente. Rarely. É tipo quase nunca. Oh, é igual. Raramente. Mas you don't say raramente, né? <laughs> That's super American. <laughs> All right, so rarely, and finally we have never, okay? Lord's peace. You too, Danielson. Deus te abençoe, viu? Oh, this is a good question. Como você pronuncia a palavra unfortunately? So we say unfortunately. Unfortunately. Nitly. Fortunately, unfortunately. É, é muito grande, né? Ok, so we have the topic is daily routine. Ok, oh, sorry. Daily routine. And the grammar function is adverbs of frequency. Words like always, usually, sometimes, rarely, never. Palavras assim, tá, gente? Vamos. Oh, ok, so I have two idioms, expressions. For you, and I don't know if you've heard of them before. Raramente. Ah, raramente. Muito obrigada, Fabiana. Ah, she is a musician. Fabiana, você canta? Você quer cantar comigo? I have my piano. Let me think. <laughs> All right. Cheguei! Yay, I'm here. Okay. So let's talk about if we're talking the topic is routine, adverbs of frequency. I couldn't think of many uh, expressions and idioms, but I did find two. And it's very cool. So this expression, all right, read this expression. Play it by ear. Play it by ear. Play it by ear. What does this mean? Think about the topic, right? The topic is routine, routine, like I brush my teeth, I brush my hair, I eat breakfast, assim. So what does play it by ear significa? Carlos! Hi, Carlos. Say hi to me. Hi, hi to me. <laughs> so what does this expression mean? Play it by ear. Play it by ear. Does anyone know? Alguém sabe? Okay, let me explain a little more, okay? Hi! All right, so play it by ear. So this is like, okay, um, I like to play it by ear. My husband likes a routine. First we do this, then we do this, then we do this, then we do this. But I prefer to play it by ear. I like to play it by ear. Play it by ear. Isso, Fabio. Parabéns. All right. Play it by ear is to improvise. This is this means to be spontaneous. Okay. Todo mundo fala que eu sou spontaneous. I am. I kind of am. I I have a little plan, but then I like to just be crazy. So that's just my nature. Okay. So another expression is this. Wing it. Wing it. Wing it. E, gente, significa a mesma coisa, ok? Play it by ear, wing it, means sp sponta to be spontaneous, ok? So, to play it by ear or to wing it means to improvise, ok? You don't have a plan or maybe you have a plan but you forget about the plan and you just improvise, ok? You wing it, alright? Play it by ear, improvise, ok? Let's see, por que? Let's see, let me see a question here. Por que? A, tem som, O, E. Yeah, é difícil para explicar. Maybe I need to do a video just on that. That's a very good question. <laughs> Why does the word A sometimes say A uh, and other times say A? Por que? Por que sim? No, it's it's a little it's a little complicated to explain. So, outro vídeo. All right. So now let's continue with the topic. All right. Play it by ear. Say the ear. How would you use? Actually, so let me go back for a second. How would you use play it by ear within a sentence? 
So play it by ear. So, um, hey, what do you want to... So let's say you, uh, you're Michelle. Okay. Você tem uma mulher muito bonita, okay? You, you see this beautiful girl. And you want to take her on a date, okay? You want to go out, have a good time. So you ask her, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to do tonight? Do you want to go to the movies? Do you want to go someplace special? Go ice skating? What do you want to do? And if she's very relaxed, she could say, um, I don't know. Let's just play it by ear. Let's just play it by ear. So that means let's not make a plan. Let's just go be spontaneous. I see. Okay. And wing it. Wing it. Sometimes wing it means like, when you're not prepared, okay? So if I do a live uh, video and I don't have my text and I don't have a plan, I'm just going to uh, start, go live. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? And I can wing it, meaning I don't have a plan. Let's just improvise. Let's just be spontaneous, I see, okay? Good, excellent, Michelle, I'm glad. Vamos improvisar isso, Daniela. Yes. So Fabio says, is it possible to say, I had no time to cook lunch? You have a little preposition there. Is it, um, sorry, I had no time to cook lunch, so I had to play it by ear. I mean, I had to make a sandwich. Yeah, like that. I had no time to cook lunch, so I just, I had to play it by ear. I had to be spontaneous. I had to invent a solution. Very good. All right. Bada bing. Let's meet the ball. Okay, so let's continue. So in this video, we're going to look at this video and talk about the, the routine, okay? So today, I think in this video, we're only going to do morning to afternoon, okay? Because the live will be muito, muito, muito long and I don't want to be boring, okay? No quero ser chato. All right, so for me, I would say, okay, this is my sentence, okay? She's touching her phone. Oh, unhas dela é muito chique, né? Don't look. I have to do my nails. Okay, so for me, I would say these three sentences. Oops, let me just do this again. So these are some sentences that I would say integrating adverbs of frequency, tipo never, always, sometimes, rarely, with the topic, okay? So we have a picture of a woman and she's hitting her phone. So for me, I usually wake up around 7 a.m. Isso é verdade. I usually wake up around 7 a.m. I usually wake up around 7 a.m. This é verdade, gente. Oh, eu vou te mostrar. Tá, espera. So, on my alarms. <laughs> it's so bad. Olha aqui, ó. Can you see? It's in reverse. I have so many. 5.30, 4.30. Look. so bad <laughs> because I always I wake up and then I go to sleep I wake up and you go to sleep you know I'm not disciplined okay so I usually wake up around seven I always hit snooze a key hit snooze batch and snooze <laughs> I always hit snooze a couple of times and this is also true I rarely I rarely sleep past 9 a.m why why do you think I rarely sleep past 9, did I say p.m.? A.m. I rarely sleep past 9 a.m. Why? Why do you think I rarely sleep past 9 a.m.? Por quê? I love you. Normalmente, acordo por volta das 7 a.m. Yeah. So why do you guys think this right here, this sentence right here, I rarely sleep past 9 a.m.? Quem sabe por quê? I'm going to write this in the comments. Who knows why I rarely sleep past isso? Alguém sabe? Who knows why I rarely sleep past 9 a.m.? I do get up early. Ooh, I will explain, um, Daniela. Isso, Antonio. I think it's because of the children. Exatamente. Quatro filhos. Whoa. 
So every morning, I usually wake up to my alarm, but sometimes my children say, Mama, 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 wake up, Mama, I gotta go potty. <laughs> Mama, I'm hungry, I want cereal. <laughs> All right, so someone asked me the question, <laughs> what does hit snooze mean? Okay, so Daniela, when your alarm goes beep, 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 and you go to make it stop, that's hit snooze. So a palabra es snooze, que significa sleep, okay? So my alarm beeps, I hit snooze to, you know, silence the alarm, and then I go back to sleep. So, break it off your eyes. Okay, because you have a bunch of kids, Yusu Johnny. I have a bunch of kids. I have kids. It's true. No extra sleeping. Okay, are you guys ready? We're going to go to the next picture. So, let's go to the next picture. Now, after, after I wake up, I always do this. I go to the bathroom and I brush my teeth, okay? I don't do anything else. I walk to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom, and I brush my teeth because, well, you know, breath in the morning, not great. <laughs> hit is touch, isu. Hit. Hit. Também com baseball. Hit the ball. Okay? So to hit something is to touch or press or or smack is another word. <laughs> The sentence, because you have a lot of children, is correct. Um, no, the sentence, the, the, perfect, the perfect sentence would be, because, because you have so many kids. Assim é melhor. Não é bom para começar com because, mas só o exemplo. Because you have so many kids. So my question was, why do you think I wake up so early? Because you have so many kids. Você pode usar children também, mas eu acho uh, aqui é um pouco formal. Children, assim. Tipo, a palavra de outro live, eu falo que ill, I-L-L, -L, significa sick. E é verdade, mas a gente não usa muito. All right, very good. <laughs> I find it very similar. This is my house in German, you say. Oh, I didn't know that about German. Okay, so we have this picture, so... I brush my teeth, okay? I brush my teeth. And what about this picture? Gente, eu tenho que usar o, o vídeo de homem porque todos as, os vídeos da mulheres é um pouco sexy. Inappropriate. Isso é normal. <laughs> uh, hey, Luciano. I have a shower. I have a daily shower every morning. Okay, okay. That's good. Hi, Milton. How are you? So I would say I usually take a shower in the morning. Por que usually? Porque às vezes I take a shower at night. Okay? Usually, though, I wake up, I take a shower. Now, gente. Okay. <laughs> you saw my comment. Uh, gente. Lá no Brasil, you take two showers a day? Is this normal? Is this a normal tradition? Because my students said they take two two showers a day. Oh, si é muito quente. Three showers a day. But that's a lot, né? Muito água. I mean, eu sei que é importante, mas... I usually shower. I usually take a shower in the morning. But sometimes I take a shower at night. It depends on the day. Sometimes three? No. Three showers? Are you kidding me? So much water. Two showers a day. Three showers a day. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, gente. No, as vezes. No, we always take one shower a day. Sometimes. Sometimes we don't take a shower every day. That's, that's life. Oi, Luciano, diz meu nome. Que lindo seu português. Muito obrigada. We have another musician. Hello, Luciano. Do you want to join our band? We're going to have a Miss Jill band. <laughs> Muito banho. Banhos por dia. 
What did I say, banheiros? <laughs> so many bathrooms a day. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of shower. That's too much water, guys. One is enough, unless you smell. If you smell, take more than one shower. <laughs> oh, é por causa disso, isso right here. Okay, Brazil is hotter than the U.S. True. Antonio, I went to college in Florida. And I would take a shower in the morning para ficar chique demais. E também depois da, das aulas, my, after my classes, because Florida is very hot and humid. So I would take two showers a day. Fine, fine. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> uh, three times. I just can't. This is crazy. It's boiling hot here in Brazil. So many pe people take three showers a day. Okay. All right. That's fair. Okay. So... Our first statement is, for me, I usually wake up at 7 a.m. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. I always hit snooze. I always hit snooze. I always hit snooze a couple of times. Three, four times. I wake up. I rarely, rarely sleep past 9 a.m. because my crazy children. Okay, because of my kids. And then after that, I brush my teeth and I usually take a shower in the morning. Sometimes I take a shower at night, but I usually take a shower in the morning. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can't see something. Sinceramente, só tomo um banho por dia mesmo. Okay, Marie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, estamos junto. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, muito bom, Marie. Hey, that oh, it's awesome to have you here, Luciano. I'm glad that you're here. It's so important to have interaction, né? Especialmente agora, quando a gente não pode não pode ficar junto com seus amigos e família. É importante para ter oportunidades assim, né, gente? Eu acho que é importante. Shame on you, Marie. Johnny, not nice. Johnny, you be nice. <laughs> Shame on you. Que forte. Shame on you. You're terrible. Relax, Johnny. <laughs> okay, so we talked about that. Now let's move on. So after I wake up, I hit snooze, I brush my teeth, I take a shower. I usually, what do I do? What's, what's happening in this picture? Who can tell me? This looks delicious. Que que ela tá comendo, gente? Eu não sei. Ela é muito linda e tá comendo comida deliciosa. Deliciosa is Spanish. Dora. Gostosa, né? Bruno, cala a boca. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> good, Mateus, good. So, no preciso de a ah, aqui, ó. Have a breakfast. We just say have breakfast or eat breakfast, okay? Have breakfast, eat breakfast, okay? So, for me, I'm going to give you, I eat bacon. Ooh, Fabiana, my girl. Bacon, yummy, yummy. Luciano. Não é verdade. Meu português está ruim demais. <laughs> okay, so for me, I, oops, sorry. I never skip breakfast. I never skip breakfast. So I'm saying I always eat breakfast. Do you guys know this expression, this, not expression, but this word here? Skip, skip. I never, I never skip breakfast. I always eat breakfast. Okay. Seu inglês é maravilhoso. Obrigada. <laughs> my English, I would say my English is quasi perfect. <laughs> hey, Marcel. Hey, Marcel. How are you? <laughs> All right. So what does this word here mean? I never skip breakfast breakfast. What is skip? Isso. What is skip? Here's the question. Oops. Skip. What is skip? 
or what does skip mean? Yes, very good, Antonio. Does skip mean the same as jump? Let me help you with that. Does skip mean the same as jump? Um, and yes and no, okay. Skip means dum da 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 you know, como as crianças anda, um, like jump with a little jump in between. But here, skip is like eliminate or not do something. For example, eu não vou pra escola hoje, eu vou skip, okay? Or, eu não gosto da minha professora de biologia, eu vou skip a classe dela, assim. Skip is not do, all right? Skip means to not do something. So for me, eu amo café de manhã, okay? I love breakfast, so I never skip breakfast. I always eat breakfast. So these are synonymous, okay? They are the same, they mean the same thing. I never skip breakfast, I always eat breakfast, okay? Oh, David Hosha. Hi, David. How are you, buddy? <laughs> nunca. Isso? Eu nunca pulo o café de manhã, da manhã. Da manhã, de manhã, da manhã. I never skip. Good. Let's see. Josimar says, Seu sotaque português parece com o do estado de minhas. <laughs> Minha, yeah, é porque eu, como se fala, eu tinha muitos estudantes da minha. So, minha, minas, mineiros. So, I had a lot of uh, students from there. So, my, I think my Portuguese that I hear is from there. So, that's the Portuguese that I use. <laughs> All right, you don't have a foreign accent when you speak in Portuguese. No, eu acho que eu tenho mais... Eu, eu falta muitas palavras em português. Eu, eu realmente preciso de estudar, com certeza. Ok, so let's go back, ok? Let's go back. So, I usually... And, gente, desculpa, eu estou repetindo porque eu acho que é importante. Ok, I'm repeating because I think it's so important. You need to hear, you need to hear the same phrases many times to internalize the pronunciation and the grammar. So... Desculpa, my no, I take it back. No, sorry. You're welcome. De nada. Okay, so let me repeat all these phrases, okay? I usually wake up around 7 a.m. I always hit snooze pss, 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 a couple of times. I rarely sleep past 9 a.m. because of my crazy kids. Oh, I got a little thumbs up. Thanks, guys. When you, when you hit thumbs up, I see like a notification. It goes, bloop, bloop. That makes me feel good. Oh, outro. Gente, para. Você sabe que eu sou tímida. Eu não gosto de atenção, não. Para. Ah, oh, okay. Relax, Jill. Relax. Serious. Okay. Next one. Uh, oh, there's another joinha. How do you say joinha? Joinha? I forget. All right. So, I brush my teeth. And I usually take a shower in the morning, but sometimes I take a shower at night. But I never take three showers a day. That's craziness. But it's cold in Massachusetts. Okay, let's continue. I never skip breakfast. I always eat breakfast. I never skip breakfast. I always eat breakfast. Porque eu amo. I love breakfast. It's my, it's my favorite meal of the day. It really is. Good vibrations, good, good vibrations. Do you guys know that song? It's very old. Okay, so now I have some questions for you. All right. My strange, she thank you for in English. Da? Okay. <laughs> Your Portuguese é bom demais. No. <laughs> thank you. I should say thank you. Thank you. All right, so here are some questions for you. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Okay, listen to my question. Se você está em casa e você quer repetir, você pode, okay? If you want to repeat, you can repeat after me. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Do you eat breakfast every morning? <laughs> Your 
favorite book. Ooh. I love Pouch Cajun. I love Pouch Cajun. It's so good. Mas eu, pref eu pref prefiro. I prefer coxinha. Coxinha is so good. <laughs> oh, Cleverton. Okay, so I said, do you eat breakfast in the morning? Do you eat breakfast? Cleverton says, no, I don't. Cleverton, perfect English. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Do you eat breakfast every morning? Cleverton said, no, I don't. Antonio said, yes, I always have breakfast. That's also very good. Mateuzinho, 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 Mateuzinho says, yes, I do. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Good, great English. Yes, I do. Very good. Patricia, yes, I do. Oh, look at her cute little face here. Olha, princesa. Oh, com beijinha. So cute. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I hardly ever skip my breakfast. Awesome. Fabio. Seu inglês, muito bom. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes, I do. I hardly ever skip my breakfast. Okay, next question. What do you typically eat for breakfast? What do you typically eat for breakfast? So what do you like to eat for breakfast? What do you typically eat for breakfast? Hey, Marcio, beijinho. See, your picture was so small yesterday, I couldn't tell it was you. How are you? <laughs> All right, so people, what, ooh, what do you typically eat for breakfast? Adriana follow. I love bread and butter. You know, Adriana, you're, you're like my daughter, my daughter Elizabeth. She always wants, Mama, can I have bread and butter? Bread and butter? You're just like her. Ooh, pancakes. How do you say pancakes in Portuguese? Pancakes? <laughs> I have no idea. Pancakes. Bread and coffee. Ooh, yeah, bread and coffee. So, pão, just plain bread? You put butter? You put cheese? Just plain bread? I typically eat food. Oh, Wesley. Que interessante. You don't eat books and lights and computers? Hmm? <laughs> I typically eat food. Me too. I love food. I love you, man. That bomb. I always have, let's see, I always have coffee. So you would say coffee as seen. Uh, coffee, right? I always have coffee and bread. Yummy. I usually eat some rolls and some slices of white cheese. Also, I do love some coffee and milk. Very good. So, Fabio, let me tell you one thing. The last part, I do love some. I would say I also love having, I forget what you said, coffee with milk. Assim. Isso é a little more natural. I also love having coffee and milk, or coffee with milk. Yeah, good. Oh, panqueca. Okay, so maybe I said it correctly? I don't know. Thank you, Antonio. Okay, good. Let's do the next question. Do you ever skip breakfast? So think about my words I was teaching you, okay? Do you ever skip breakfast? Do you ever skip breakfast? Michelle, Michelle, you found me. Iced coffee. <laughs> All right. Oh, tapioca. Mm, I love tapioca. I, okay, plug in for my friend, my friend Veronica. Amazing. And she is, she produces ta tapioca da baiana and it's gostoso. I, when I first had it like two years ago, I experimented with it the first time and I was like, que que isso? Is this a pancake? Is this a crepe? I have no idea. My zagora it, hey, I'm, I'm the truth, okay? I eat tapioca with um, uh, cheese, American cheese, and I cook it on two sides and just, it's all you soup for breakfast, maybe three, four times a week. I like, it's my favorite breakfast food now. No, bacon. Bacon's my favorite, but tapioca is very good. All right. Ooh, excellent English, Antonio. 
I think you are level four. Oh, I got another thumb. <laughs> All right. So I sometimes skip breakfast when I'm in a hurry. Excellent. Excellent. Adriana, I never skip breakfast. That's oh, my girl. You and me. Sick. Yes. I have iced coffee. You don't have iced coffee in Brazil? É, é muito gostoso, gente. I love iced coffee. <laughs> Isso, Fabio. Parabéns. Very good. I also love having some coffee and milk. Very good. Very natural. Super natural. Um, good. Wagner. Okay, yeah. I try to cut down on breakfast at times when I'm on a diet. <laughs> Excellent sentence. Excellent. Mateuzinho. Amo tapioca com queijo e presunto. Isso, it's so good. The texture is strange, but I like it now. My first time, it was a little like, é gelatine? <laughs> so I asked the question, do you ever skip breakfast? Adan Fun Time says, sometimes. Sometimes I skip breakfast. Very good. Final question, and then we're going to continue our lesson. Final question for this, this part. Do you drink coffee with your breakfast? Do you drink coffee with your breakfast? The audio is low? Oh, desculpa. É melhor agora? Desculpa. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Marcel. Thumbs up for you, too. Sometimes I do. Do you drink coffee with your breakfast? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. <laughs> yes, I do, Michelle. You always have coffee with your breakfast. I I always have coffee. I love coffee. But I use, maybe it's not saúde, porque eu uso cream and a little sugar. Half coffee, half milk. É porque uh, o café lá no Brasil é, é muito forte, não é? Então você usa mais leite. Yeah, I don't like iced coffee. Bruno, you have to like iced coffee. No, you don't have to like iced coffee. You do you. It's fine. <laughs> coffee de manhã at breakfast porque dinner isn't breakdown. Good question. So if cafe, <laughs> café de manhã at breakfast porque dinner isn't break slow. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so let's go on to the next part okay almost always I drink coffee oh, okay Luis let me help you so instead of almost always you're going to say I subject first I almost always drink coffee let me write it for you okay I almost always drink coffee I think I don't know if that's right yeah so you want to use the subject first I almost always drink coffee the exception so as palavras is um, sometimes and occasionally. So you can say, sometimes I drink coffee. Occasionally I drink coffee. Mas com as, os resto das um, adverbs of frequency, the subject needs to go first, okay? Hey, Clayton. Hi, buddy. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the next part. Okay, so we did, let's do one more time on, a, on our daily routine. I usually wake up around 7 a.m. I always hit snooze a couple of times. I rarely sleep past 9 a.m. After that, I brush my teeth. Ooh, I got a thumbs up. I usually take a shower in the morning. Sometimes I take a shower at night. I never skip breakfast. I always eat breakfast because it's gostoso demais. We did some questions. So now we're going to continue. I can say nearly instead of almost. If you want. Um, nearly has a... Nearly means perto. Like I nearly... It means to be close to something. So I don't know about nearly. All right, next part here. What do you see in the picture? 
do you know what she's doing? So after I take a shower, I eat breakfast, then I usually, you know, I eat breakfast and I go back upstairs and I prepare my style. You know, I have to get dressed and everything. So for this word, does anyone know? Dry hair, very good. So I'd say I usually blow dry my hair. I usually blow dry my hair. Right, so she's got a hair dryer. Her hair is very thick. My hair is muito fino. Gente, tipo, eu não tenho muito cabelo. Olha aqui, ó. Muito fino. <laughs> drying her hair. She's drying her hair very good. So you can say drying, but we say blow drying with the machine, okay? So I usually blow dry my hair. I usually blow dry my hair. Because you can use a towel to dry your hair. Or you can let the, the air dry your hair. But when we use the machine, the little blow dryer, we say blow dry your hair. Yeah. <laughs> dyeing my hair. Ooh, no, dyeing. I'm not killing my hair. <laughs> okay. So I usually blow dry my hair. And then, especially before videos, because I don't want to be crazy looking. <laughs> Why do you use the word blow in this sentence? Because the name of this machine, of this uh, appliance, is a blow dryer. Blow is, yeah, so blow is like to, to push the air out, okay? So blow dry my hair is because I'm using a blow dryer. Café da manhã, isso, Hobson. Hob Hobson. So in this picture here, all right, we see someone. What is she doing here? Yes, very good. Adriana, yes, very good. You have one tiny error, but it's but you are correct in the concept. Very good. Put on some makeup. Very good, Johnny. Okay. So I usually blow dry my hair and I almost always put my makeup on. Now you can also say, you can also say, I almost always put on my makeup. This is also correct, okay? We've got two forms here, all right? So you can say, I almost always put my put on my makeup or I almost always put my makeup on. I almost always put my makeup on. Both forms are 100% correct, okay? Usually you don't want um, on at the end of a sentence, but when you speak, it's very natural, okay? She's doing her makeup. Isu. Very good. She's doing her makeup. <laughs> Marcel. Okay, I'm ready for your questions. Go ahead. Nice. <laughs> All right, very good. So after I get ready, okay, I don't think you fall to Jisu, mice. I get dressed, right? I get dressed. I always get dressed. I don't stay naked. That would be weird. All right, so after I'm ready, I eat my breakfast, I do my hair, I get my makeup. Agora, porque, por causa de crisis, eu estou em casa, então, eu estou com meus filhos. So, Monday through Friday, I help my kids with their schoolwork, okay? So, this is a very big phrase, but let's see if you can understand it, okay? Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, I help my kids with their schoolwork. No videozinho aqui é só um, um, um filho, mas eu tenho quatro, então eu tenho que ajudar todo mundo. É um benção. It's very good. <laughs> Let's see. Wagner says, do you ever lash out at your students when you blew up? Oh, do I like get mad at my students and explode ah. not often not often at all but sometimes I would be I would get very mad with my students when I was teaching at school when I got mad I would just and walk go out in the corridor and I would calm down and then depois de um minuto or you know one or two minutes my students would say sorry miss and I say <laughs> That's excellent, Lucas. The mother is teaching her daughter homework. So instead of teaching, I would say helping with. 
You, so if you want to describe the picture, the mother is helping the daughter with her homework. A scene. That's correct. Okay. The mother is helping the daughter or her daughter, Hail Meiji, her daughter, Afigidela, with her homework. Okay. But if we're practicing, if we're practicing this, our routine and our adverbs of frequency, then I would say I, Monday through Friday, I help my kids with their schoolwork. You could say, I always help my kids with their schoolwork. Or if I'm being honest, I often, I usually help my kids with their schoolwork. Okay. Isso. De segunda a sexta, eu ajudo meus filhos com o dever de casa. Isso. Very good. Let me clarify one thing. So, homework, all right? Homework versus schoolwork. Isso é interessante, interessante porque agora, okay? Let me see. Let me put this back up there. Agora, meus filhos não têm dever de casa. Eles têm school work. Mas está em casa. Does that make sense? So let me explain this in English, okay? Porque my Portuguese is limited. So homework is usually what the teachers give the kids para fazer em casa, to do at home, depois de escola. But now there's no homework because... Everything is obligatory and is schoolwork, but it's at home. So there's a little difference. Homework is extra work after school, but because of the quarantine, it's a little different now. So I don't say I'm helping them with homework even though it's at home. Does that make sense? É um pouco difícil para explicar, mas neste exemplo... School work is uh, melhor do que homework because it's not extra. It's normal. This is your work for school. Okay. It both works, but I'm just, you know, wanting to explain a little bit. I understood what you meant. Good. <laughs> Hobson, the homework is on the table. The table. Yes, you can say the homework is on the table. <laughs> so is the So is the bowl of fruit. The fruit is on the table. The pen is on the table. <laughs> Your voice is beautiful. Do you do vocal training before the live? Or do you even need to? No, I don't do vocal training. Oh. <laughs> no. But I do sing. I sing a lot at church. No, I sing. That was terrible. Nice. Pancakes. <laughs> Have you ever grounded your kids because they were late at their homework? Yes. Yes. No electronics. Only homework. <laughs> okay. So very good. Very good, guys. So we did many morning routines. We did when I wake up, brush my teeth, take a shower, eat breakfast, blow drying your hair, putting on makeup, putting clothes on, you don't fault to my stuff on. And then we start our day. So on Monday through Friday, I help my kids with their schoolwork or homework, but I prefer schoolwork. All right. So we have one more picture. Okay. And then we're going to do questions and everything like that. Okay. So this picture, what is the mother doing? Look at cabelo dela. Muito, muito bonito. Meu Deus. I want hair like that, guys. Do you think I should do that? Tipo... Mais claro aqui, escuro aqui. Gosto muito. Her hair is beautiful. My goodness. <laughs> homework is quite different from housework, isn't it? Homework is quite different from housework. Ah, yes. Housework. Housework is cleaning your house, right? Making your beds, uh, washing the floors. Housework is um, cleaning your house. Very good. Help the kids, the kids cook. Yeah. My table, I can't stop eating pão de queijo. <laughs> so it looks to me, so for me, in, if we're continuing with the, with the um, sentence structure, 
I make lunch for my kids, okay? So I make lunch for my kids. So she's preparing lunch and she's putting it in a in a lunch box for school. But I couldn't find an old picture. So I would say, you know, after we do schoolwork, I make lunch for my kids or I make lunch with my kids. So her children are helping her. So I make lunch for my kids or she makes lunch with her kids. Yeah. Helps her kid make their school lunch. Very good, Diego. Diego, sorry. All right, so now, guys, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. What do you usually eat for lunch? So what do you usually eat for lunch? So we talked about breakfast. Many people said, I eat bread and butter. I eat pound de queijo, mm. bacon, pancakes. So for lunch, what do you usually eat for lunch? Or is it different every day? The pancakes on the table. Tapioca said delicious. So some people are joining us a little bit later. So their comments are coming in late. All right. She is making their snacks for school. Adriana, very good. A couple typos, but very good. So what do you usually eat for lunch? What do you guys usually eat for lunch? I usually eat, let me make this comment smaller, sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's so big. All right, let me delete this here. Sorry, JG. All right, so let me go back. I usually eat rice, beans, and some meat, like chicken, bead, beef, if you mean beef, or eggs. That sounds delicious. See, for me, that sounds like dinner. That doesn't sound like lunch. Lunch, but I know you said tipo sandwich, salad. And then dinner is rice and beans and meat and food. <laughs> rice, beans, beef, french fries. Ooh, that looks good. Look at your smile. Look, você é meu, meu uh, tipo irmão. We look like each other. What do you usually eat for lunch? I usually have cake and coffee for lunch. Ooh, that sounds tasty. What do you usually eat for lunch? Rice and beans and something else, some protein and salad. Yum, beef. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> Pancakes and scrambled eggs for lunch? At, at 12 o'clock, at 1 o'clock? Arroz, feijão, salad, ovo, carne. Mm. Agora eu tenho fome. Noodles. You have noodles for lunch. I often eat rice and beans with chicken. Excellent. I love how you use the adverb of frequency. I often. Very good. Here in Brazil, we eat food for lunch. No way. Aqui também. Meu Deus. So similar. <laughs> All right, guys. So... Let's review everything mais uma vez, rapidinho. And then, se você tem perguntas para mim, oh, whatever, I can try to help you, okay? So, we talked about adverbs of frequency. Words like always, usually, sometimes, rarely, never. We also said occasionally and often. We said those words too. And then we did these two expressions. Okay, don't forget these expressions. When you have a plan or when you don't have a plan, you can play it by ear. So you want to be spontaneous. What do you want to do? I don't know. Let's play it by ear. Okay, or you have a presentation and you're not really prepared. I'm, uh, that's okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to wing it. I'm going to be spontaneous, okay? Improvise. Improvise was a very good word that someone used. All right. And then in our morning traditions, morning routines, I usually wake up around 7 a.m. Desculpa, é muito rápido. I usually wake up around 7 a.m. I always, como ela, hit snooze a couple of times. I rarely sleep past 9 a.m. Porque eu tenho quatro filhos, Deus é bom. Okay. Then, I brush my teeth. I usually take a shower in the morning. Sometimes, I take a shower at night. I never skip breakfast. I always eat breakfast because, yum, it's delicious. 
All right, I asked you some questions. I usually blow dry my hair. I almost always put my makeup on. Sometimes I don't use makeup. Monday through Friday, I help my kids with their schoolwork. Monday through Friday. And then, oh, I, I deleted the other ones. And then I make lunch for my kids. I usually make lunch for my kids. Sometimes they're at school and they buy lunch and I don't have to make lunch, which is nice. I, I usually, oh, that's not nice. Wagner. Okay, let's see, guys. So do you guys have any questions for me? Do you have any questions? We have tipo... Tres minutos. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, Joey, buddy boy. Good to see you again. It's been too long. One hour live. I know. It's like one hour of English lesson. I'm trying to do this. Mateus, eu quero fazer isso tipo três vezes por semana. Eu não sei que é muito tempo ou não. É melhor para fazer tipo 30 minutos ou, ou uma hora. Eu, eu não sei. <laughs> Seu rosto parece inteligência. Your face looks smart, intelligent. <laughs> oh, Antonio, good question. What's your favorite meal, Jill? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I love breakfast. Breakfast is great. It's so good. I love because like I love bacon and maple syrup and tapioca, and I like fruit and yogurt and breakfast is so good. Mas também eu gosto muito de dinner. Like rice and beans and beef. Oh, I love steak. Steak. Okay, let's stop talking about food. <laughs> um, oh, what does to be the cream of the crop mean? It's like to be the best. The cream of the crop. That means like toppy. Ela é top, company Ela é mais, mais. I don't know the rest of that song. <laughs> Michelle says, three times a week sounds like a good idea. Cool. Do you like one hour lessons or is one hour too much? I don't know. Jackson, opa. Jackson, you missed the class. That's okay. You can watch it on the replay. <laughs> A qualidade está exata, uh, excelente, só precisa melhorar um pouco o áudio, talvez o microfone. Ah, uh, ok, good idea, good idea. Eu tenho este microfone aqui, ó. E é suficiente. Mas, I agree, I think a lapel mic would be better. Maybe I need to talk into the microphone like this. Isso é melhor? Eu não tenho nenhuma ideia. Maybe I'm too loud now. Am I too loud? I have no idea. I will fix the audio for next time. All right, let's see. Monday. Is it possible to say from Monday to Friday? Um, yes. Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Monday through. Well, it depends on the sentence. So I would say, I work Monday through Friday. So I would say through here. I work Monday through Friday. Okay, Monday, Monday to Friday. I'm trying to think of how to use to. Let me think about it. I think we would usually say through. <laughs> how can there be such an amazing, beautiful teacher? Oh, para. I'm so lean to know. <laughs> oh, so he's a deli. We too beautiful. Miss Jill, can we say professora? Yes, you can say professora. Do you know how to play some instruments? Yes. I, uh, ban banca, agua. I play the piano. É muito longe, mas eu toco. Oh, it's not plugged in. But yes, I play the piano. I can play a little guitar, but I'm not very good. I'm not very good. <laughs> A meia live. Obrigado, Miss Jill. Thank you, Patricia. Deus te abençoe, viu? God bless you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. What do you teach at school? So, Mateos. Eu era uma professora de inglês. Por, uh, or ESL, ESL teacher. Mas também, I was a biology, biologia. I was a biology teacher for 10 anos. You, I love biology. My, I prefer English. Yeah. Have you ever come to a person you, who recognized you from YouTube? Good question. Yes, at a restaurant. I, and, and shopping. I was shopping for clothes and someone said, Oi. I was like, oh, ela sabe. Porque é óbvio que eu não sou brasileira, então, para ela, para fa falar comigo em português. I said, oh, oi, tudo bem? And we talked, and then she said, uh, she's like, I know you from YouTube. <laughs> e também, eu tinha uma estudante lá no high school, e, uh, e quando ela entra, entrou, meu Deus, desculpa, my verbs are terrible. Ela falou, oh! Eu sei quem você é. I said, oh yeah, you know who I am? Sim, I saw your head hot video no YouTube. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Quando vai ter novamente minha... I don't know that. When am I going to come back? Is that what you're saying? When am I, when am I going to come back? How long do you speak Portuguese? Raquel, let me teach you that how to say that in English, okay? But you're almost correct. How long have you been speaking um, Portuguese for? Let's see. How long have you been speaking Portuguese for? Or how long have you been studying Portuguese? How long have you been studying Portuguese? How long have you been studying Portuguese? So... Ah, é um pouco complicado. Um, so I, I've never studied Portuguese formally in school or anything. Um, but I learned, I learned a lot of Portuguese from my students and from my friends. And eu fui para uma igreja brasileira muitos anos atrás. And that helped me a lot too. So yeah. So I don't know, tipo... Eight years, my, not seriously, you know. Foreign students, Hobson. Yeah, I only taught English to students from other countries from that speak Spanish and Portuguese. How interesting is it for you to meet someone who knows you from YouTube? It was cool. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. What is the right pronunciation of schedule? Well, Elias, in the United States, we say schedule. Let me pull up your comment again, desculpa. We say schedule, schedule. Mas eu acho que lá no England, they say schedule, schedule. Mas aqui, if, se você fala schedule aqui para nós, é tipo, oh, que bonitinho, ele não sabe. Então, if you come to the United States, schedule, schedule. All right. Oh, Raquel, God bless you too. <laughs> oh, that's a good suggestion. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Yeah, I love that song. That song is beautiful. Yeah, I would love to do that. Um, maybe my next video I can have my keyboard and I can do some English explanation and then I can play the piano and sing. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> what days you are you live? So this week I've been experimenting because my schedule is a little bit Difícil agora, porque meu esposo ainda está trabalhando, graças a Deus, e eu também. Mas eu acho que eu posso ficar live lá no Monday. Well, Monday, no, I don't know. Eu ainda não sei, com certeza. Eu acho que... <laughs> yes, Joy, I love coxinha. I think I'm going to go live on Friday night. So not tomorrow, but Friday night. But I'm not, I'm not positive. 
Mateus, I would love to come to Brazil one day, someday. So Deus sabe. <laughs> oh, Bruno, thank you so much. Realmente, eu não uso Facebook muito. I don't use Facebook a lot for Miss Jill, porque meu outro trabalho, eu tenho que ficar no Facebook muito, então, I can't do Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's too much personally. But I'm glad you found me there. I'm glad you're sharing. Muito obrigada. What's my favorite verse from the Bible? I think um, James, uh, James 1, I think it's James 1, 2, or James 2, 1. Uh, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials of many kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, and perseverance must finish its work so that you are mature and not lacking in anything. I think that's James 2. It's a really good verse um, for when you're going through difficult times. That's a great question. Uh, professora, você já viu ao Brasil? No, I have never been to Brazil. I really want to go to Brazil. I really do. <laughs> what day are you live or what days are you streaming? What day are you live? I would say, um, which days will you be live streaming? This is the most clear way to say it. Which days will you be live streaming? Or if it's only one day, what day, day will you be? You could say live too. Não tem que falar live streaming. You can say, what day will you be live? Or when will you be live next? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you said. James is, Chi James is Chiago in Portuguese. Isso, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right, too. <laughs> All right, gente. E é tudo, gente. Agora... Oh, it's 8.10. I have to go. And we're live. Oh, great. Okay, guys. So, listen. Muito obrigada. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, my plan is to go live again. Probably not tomorrow. Probably Friday. E talvez, o próximo vez, eu vou usar my piano. O que você acha? Want me to play a song? Vou cantar pra você, bem, oh meu bem. Não chore, não. You're so welcome. You are so welcome. The, 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 that's all, folks. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Wagner, no. Have a good night. Good sleep. You too, buddy. Banca. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, guys. All right, so I really must go. All right? You guys be blessed. Que Deus te abençoe a paz, Senhor. Ok, gente? Tchau.